Hello and welcome to Gamer Phoenix. I have completed all the levels of Last Hope TD except the arena mode. I will share my experiences during my journey of playing this game. So you may consider this to be my last video about Last Hope TD. I am Phil, your host and good game guide to non-mainstream games. The first thing you should know about Last Hope TD is that it is unlike any typical tower defense games. It has a combination of role playing, strategy and tactics. The story starts with a zombie outbreak. The zombies attack a Native American village that sets the ball rolling for the campaign gameplay. The story is based on a loose investigation as you play different levels to uncover the reason for the outbreak. According to the story, the outbreak has occurred in a small area. The Native American village is the first to be affected. At the start of the game, you initially take on the role of the princess. Another warrior comes along and you can switch between the two as your main character. Switching characters does not change the point of view of the story. Gameplay You may get different tasks as you progress. However, what is vital is the upgrade process of the TARS. It is imperative to continue with the research as and when you play. Research in real time takes place with the help of coins that you earn as rewards by the end of each game. You also get coins by watching ads. These coins increase with every ad you watch every 2 hours until it reaches the limit of 1500. Beyond that, this figure won't change. The game also has a long drawn on daily login incentives besides coins. They also offer other spells for you to use against the zombies. Take my word for it, they come in mighty handy. Stock them as and when needed. Tars come in two varieties, standard and advanced. Standard is what you come to use from the beginning. But do your best to obtain advanced turrets as well. To get them, your standard TARS must complete some conditions. Say for example, getting the sniper turret will depend on what current level your existing turrets are. After you fulfill these criteria, you can buy the next best turret. The game is very challenging, not at the initial levels but as you progress deeper into the game. The impetus is on the tactics when you have to decide which turret suits best and against what kind of zombie. The game does come with an encyclopedia of the zombie units that attacks you. It will show its weaknesses, so you will know what turret to use against it. Unfortunately, you also won't know the weakness of the zombies you are up against until the level starts. Last Hope TD does not have any boss levels that you may come across during your campaign but they do have stronger zombies that take much of your time to kill. You will fight level bosses only towards the end. My thoughts on the game My journey throughout the game was fraught with challenges. The first few levels are easy to complete with the standard turrets, but with gradual level progression, you will need more powerful turrets. You won't need all of the advanced turrets, but it is better to keep everything handy just in case. You never know when you might need them. Advanced turrets are also pricey. They are not easy to get and in place during battle. I found the sniper turret super helpful. There are several reasons. The first of which is the cost. The second, rate of fire. Although slow, packs a punch against the strong units. The overall game is fun. You will need patience to last right till the end. And trust me, every bit of patience you put in is worth it. Let's talk about why you should play this game. The key reasons here are it is not your regular tower defense game. It has a mix of RPG elements in it that makes it more interesting. Tactics form the core of the game as you progress deeper. So if you love strategy and tactics, Last Hope TD will be just fine. The entire game does not require frequent updates. It is very stable. The events are also system generated and appear for a few days. It comes like an ad on the top of your map. You can't miss it. These event based levels are hard to complete and I've rarely played them. This video sums it up. I will continue to post playthroughs till the end. 
After that, I will uninstall the game. Please support me by hitting the like button if you liked my video or dislike it if you didn't. Thank you for watching right till the end. I will see you again next time. Until then, happy gaming.